guys welcome back uh today we got an interesting video we're gonna look at so let's actually get right into it right now dr Truett, tonight you're diagnosed with cancer if you could if you could choose prayer or modern medical science which would you rather have yes. you can only choose one no you can I have don't prayer have or you can choose science. You only have one. Would you rather have those doctors treat you with chemotherapy? Or would you rather have a team of priests treat you with prayer? You can only have one. Who said I can only have one? My question presumes you can only have one. It's a false question. I can have both. I can have both because are you suggesting that, that um, God can't work through doctors? Or are you, are you saying that, what are you trying to get at? Professor Turk, I'm, I'm, my implication is that if you wouldn't immediately jump to the chance to say, I would only rather have prayer that displays nothing other than a lack of faith, you should be more than happy to say, I don't give a, I don't, I don't care about modern medical science or anything other than, no, I, I, the, I, the, I, other, I, other, I, other than God will, God will heal me and God will take care of me only through the power of prayer. And, and I'm confident since you since you are a devout and a serious Christian, and I respect you for that, and as should everyone here, you're gonna tell everyone here, forget science, we don't care about any of it. God will take care of us as long as we pray to him. Wrong theology because I I need before I need medical care, I need food. And I rely on farmers that make corn here in corn husker land. I'm not growing my own corn. Okay? I don't have time to do that. I rely on them. I'm not going to sit around and say, God, give me some corn. You've already told us God is timeless, so time to time is nothing. We're, wait, we're waiting for your prayer. I'm not following you, Cody. What, what, are, you, what are you suggesting? We, we live in the world where we have a community, and God has put us in this community, and we rely on one another for certain services, whether it's doctors, whether it's farmers, whether it's grocers, whether it's attorneys, whether it's teachers. We all interact. We don't say, God, do everything for me. In fact, Jesus was, was tempted by Satan, remember? Throw yourself down, and uh, God will save you. And Jesus knew, of course, that Satan was taking that verse out of context, and he said, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Okay. So, 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 God, so God doesn't answer your prayers directly. We'll move on to the next question. No, Thanks, no, no, God. No. Okay. Uh... We got some problems over here. So we got this guy. Apparently his name is Cody. Um, how would I call that kind of question? I was going to say this question is like a presumptuous question. Okay. So here's my opinion on that part. So would I choose doctors over prayer um, man. I think I would choose prayer first and then because when you pray to God he will tell you what you need to do so let's say I have a disease that I'm Let's say even, even if it's not a, even if it's curable disease, I would pray about it so that first thing first, I'm going to pray is about is to get um, wisdom and not to panic and not to stress about the disease. Why? Because when you go to God first, he will tell you exactly what you need to do. He will tell you exactly how to get it done. Um, then, if God says, "Okay, you're gonna need to go. You're gonna have to go to a doctor," I will go to the doctor. But even then, I will go to the doctor, praying that God will be the doctor um, using this human doctor to get me healed. So in a sense, I would always choose prayer first. I would choose prayer first. Not that I would only choose 
prayer because if God says, go to this person, and I say, no, I'm not going to pray, then I decide to reject the solution that God has given me. For instance, and this is my opinion, of course. For instance, let's say there is a hurricane, okay? Hurricane, water is water is rising up, and the person is stuck on the roof of the house. And the person sees no way out. If he if that person if she jumps in the water, it can she can get carried by the current. If she stays on top, somehow maybe the house might fall, and who knows if she might get injured. Let's say she prays and she asks God, God please deliver me. When when she prayed, God please deliver me. About five minutes later, there is a little canoe. That is that the person had a canoe at home, like a canoeing boat that can take at least four or five people, and that person is canoeing, and says, hey, I have a canoe, jump in, jump into the canoe. Would you expect that person to be like, now? When that person said, jump into the canoe, the other one says, no, I'm praying God to rescue me. God is going to rescue me. So you don't have to bring that canoe. God's going to rescue me. You can go. Go. The person goes with the canoe. Goes. The second thing, later on, she's still praying to God to be saved. And there's a helicopter that comes around. And they're like, hey, we're going to drop down the, um, the stairs or the steps so you can get in, so you can be saved. Oh, no, 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 no. God is going to save me. I'm already praying to God to save me. You can go. At the end, the person died because she had two ways of being saved. But then she rejected that the way of salvation. See, the thing is, when God God gives us a brain so we can use, there is nothing wrong praying. But when you pray and then God gives you a solution and you reject that solution, based on his method, if Frank didn't choose prayer, then it's because he got no faith and it's because God doesn't answer his prayer. That's not true. That's why he said both. He would choose both. Why? Because some people, God has given them the skills to do certain things. And when you know you don't know something, you go to the people who have the skills. I'm going to say, I'm assuming he thinks that science and Bible are opposite. Which is wrong because if there were no God, there would be no science either. So, yes, I would take both. But first, I would take prayer first. Prayer, and then when if God leads me to say, go to a doctor, go to this farmer, go to this um, lifeguard person, go to that place to get the treatment or to get whatever I needed, then I would go because I know that God was the one telling me. So, that's what I think about it. Let me let me let me guys let me know guys how what you think about it. Let me know if you think you would choose science over prayer, or if you want to choose only one, which one you would choose? I would choose both, but I would choose prayer first, and then if God leads me to the doctor, I will go to that doctor and get help. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna stop right here. Again, this is the Open Door TV. Until then. Bye for now.